this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and this is our Sunday morning stop and crop, where we just craft and catch up. Uh, this week I've been working on playing around with these um, vintage, antique, so they're all before 1927, I think is the latest one, but some are even earlier than that. Like this one is 1890s. So there's lots of really cool ones in here. And a lot of them have uh, neat things on this, the other side. So uh, I got this idea sort of from, it's like my take on playing with this stuff, but me, I was inspired by Rachel from Roxy Creations and she uh, has been doing some really neat things with hinging, uh, making little hinged uh, paper items. So I was kind of interested in seeing if I could make a whole journal out of the hinged idea. So it's hinged uh, with paper scraps or with washi tape and I ended up liking the washi tape a lot better so like this one is with a paper scrap and it's not quite laying as flat this one worked out okay and maybe it was just how how I how I did it that they were too close together but the washi tape you can make them too close together and it doesn't matter it still lays really well so those are these neat uh, antique pages. And I did a little decorating. Not too much, just a little. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of play around with this today. Um, I did this page. So I made, a, I coffee dyed a bunch of this ledger uh, paper. It's like ledger divider i think this one is and then the, the the paper goes in between it it looks like a little ledger book that i got and I coffee dyed all that so that was good this one has really neat caramel colored paper and that's the end so this is a belly band and then I got some pieces that I thought would go with the book. Really well. I used my, some of my samples, which also was another Rachel Roxy Creations inspiration. It's another one of those. So we can glue those in and then just Lots of fun old pieces that we can play around with. Let's scrap on these. This might go with this as well. They're actually leather with the grommets. So, what's this? Some pockets, pockets, library card. Throw that in there. A little mushroom envelope. I've got a fun envelope video coming up, so I'm excited to show that. There's another handmade envelope, and this could be a pocket. Tuck something in there. Antiquarian sticker book. Okay, so that's some of my inspiration, and then I thought I'll just add another page onto it so you can kind of see how I do this hinging. Let's see here. I kind of like this one. This is one of my favorites. The Pioneer Twins by Lucy Fitch Perkins. And I have been staggering these pages because they're different sizes. So they kind of, you know, do a little, do a little deal. So in the end, I think what I'll do is maybe attach, when there's like a gap, maybe attach some lace or something the end of it so that might be fun all right let's see 
washi tape. Mm, and that pile that I've been using. So anything with the white background works generally well. Like this one. I don't think I ever used this one yet. Try this. And then when I do it, so if I stagger these pages, I only do the hinge right um, at the where the page overlaps. So like I don't go down here and I don't go up here with it. So just kind of eyeball it, make it a little short shorter than I think it's going to be. Now, in the beginning, when you're doing this, it's really easy. Just kind of lay them down side by side. But as the uh, spine gets a little thicker, then it becomes a little more tricky. That. Over, got a little crinkle. That's okay. And then there you have it. It's hinged. Easy peasy. Yeah. And then some of these pages are blank or just have a little bit of writing on them. So, you know, they do leave a nice canvas for that. Some of them are so thin, like these hymnal pages, that some reinforcement with some bulk to the pages of pockets will probably be really good for this. So find something that's the right size. This is like a little doily pocket. So it's a circle. Oh, it's a heart doily. Okay. And then you fold these two up. And then I have this little needle holder. Rust proof. Let's see if that's true. I don't know. <laughs> This would be a really good uh, uh, glue topper stopper because it's rust proof. <laughs> and then you could just attach your, your, um, are you going to do that? No. <laughs> Shadows, all kinds of junk. Anyway, you could hit attach your spine dangle to there. And my, my hands are kind of a disaster. I did tie-dyeing yesterday with Amy, and holy Moses, I did buy a bunch of shirts because I buy things excessively, and I go to that mm, big bin store, so you just kind of dig through the bin. We call it the big bin store. That's not what it is. It's the Goodwill outlet, and there's only one in the state of Wisconsin, and it's in it's near me, which is pretty great, only like 30 minutes away. And anyway, everything is by the pound. So you just, you know, pick out things that you want. And so we picked out any shirts that have a white background. So it could have a logo or something on it, but just white background. And and uh, so I got a, like so many shirts and it's not very expensive at all to do it that way. So, and one's even, like, it says Calvin Klein on it. So they're really nice, and you just tie-dye them, and away they go. So that's pretty. I have to find something to match that. It's kind of out there. Maybe like this. I like how that looks. And this is a neat insert. It was from, I think it was from an Autobahn book, maybe. And it says Trees of North America. And then it's just like a little booklet of trees. just cute. I just staple, cut them out, staple them together. Well, I'm just going to glue this on here because I really like how that looks. And I'm not real crazy about the mapping there. I'm really hooked on my art glitter glue lately, so. Goodbye, mushrooms. It just hurts my heart a little bit whenever I glue down that paper with pretty on it. And that makes no sense, but it does. <laughs> it's just silly. It's just silly. I know it's silly, <laughs> but I can't help feelings. <laughs> so, 
oh well. So anyway, we tie-dyed, and man, that's one of those things where Amy, she just, I think we did like, I don't know, 15 different shirts. And, and I think I did maybe three and they were all the rest she did. She, she was just like a machine with the tie-dye. It was crazy. So that was cool. That was cool. She loves it. So it was a really good project for us to do yesterday. And I, I'm not going to assume that I'm going to find stuff that matches well right there, actually. I could just put this off a little bit and then it could be a pocket. Okay. I really like the writing on this, so I don't want to impede it too much. But yeah, a very fun project. And I was joking because I like, like Amy has a really good sense of color. So she made some really neat combinations and then I don't know what happened to me, but two of them just went horribly, horribly wrong. So I had one and it was like a, it was like a lacy white lace dress probably, but I'm really tall. So I always turn them into like long tunic shirts. So I just wear them as a tunic and, and, you know, have pants or leggings underneath. So I bought that to dye it because I thought it was super cute, but white is, you know, a dangerous thing for me. I mean, look at my hands. Jeez. <laughs> and I, I don't know. It just, so anyway, I did this pink and it was looking really cute. And then I, I took all of the, the tie dye after I rinsed them over to the line and some of the other inks spilled onto it and one of them was like hot pink. So it's like pink background with pink blotches on it. And it does look like maybe someone was murdered in it. It's really, it's not good. It, it's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> I love this little piece. I could add like a washi tape. That's my thing I'm really into. I, I have a million of these washi tape stickers and I got them on Amazon. But anyway, uh, and I have affiliate links, so they are affiliate links, so I'm not, just so you know. I kind of like that color. I would num never normally pick that color, but I kind of like it to go with all these other browns. I'll go with brown, and hopefully the washi tape looks okay, hopefully. Um, yeah, so it did look like not good, and then I did another one, and... I thought, oh, I would like to do some more subtle colors, you know, maybe like browns and grays and everything. And so I did that and my husband looks at it and he goes, it looks like, it looks like vomit. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it does look like vomit. So I have a murder outfit and a vomit outfit. So yeah, <laughs> and Amy's all look great. <laughs> So that's my little tie-dye story. We, it was a beautiful day. I mean, there was a great breeze blowing through and the sun was shining. And my father-in-law just turned 80. Happy birthday, Donnie. He, <laughs> and he's awesome because he's a really big supporter of my, of my YouTube channel and everything. So he just thinks it's fantastic. And, uh, but anyway, he, we got him a hammock so he can lay out in the sun and so we, the hammock was right there too. And he was laying out in the hammock and we were doing tie dye and it was just a nice day. Lovely, lovely day. So that was cool. What else? We need pretty on here. It needs something to make it pretty. Oh, I have this like quilty thing. Yeah, this could be right up there. Oh, that looks kind of nice. I'm going for like a dark kind of look on this, <laughs> I guess. I still think we need maybe some more flowers or something. 
So with the whole tie-dye thing, I might have to just defer to Amy for design and I'll stick to junk journals for that. <laughs> so that's funny. Funny, funny. So it's been an interesting week. I'm trying out this new schedule where I have something planned every day, you know, like a main junk journal thing to do every single day, task. And I, it's, you know, I'm, I'm adjusting to the schedule a little bit, but it's going okay. And yeah. Oh, I have this lace that I wanted to show you. It was from like a, I think from a dress or something, but look at this. It's like, got Looks like somebody put some distress ink on there. And it's so pretty. I don't know if I can add this somewhere in here. Just like a little scrapple of it. I don't know. You almost need like the whole thing. It's that pretty. I don't know. Like a little fringe at the top. Hmm. I don't know. No, not on that. This stuff is great. It's great. Going to a graduation party today. What do we need here? I don't know. I feel like a, maybe a butterfly. We've got mushrooms, so a butterfly makes sense. Oh, this one's really pretty. It's kind of shiny. That does look nice. Okay, let's try bright color one. No. That one, this one, this one. <laughs> no, what the heck? I just, nothing looks right. That's not too bad. It's a maybe. I just, maybe I should just move on because I just can't figure out what this page needs. I just don't know. I just don't, no, I don't, I don't think it's a butterfly. That is a real thick piece. It's got like, it's almost like it's made out of feathers, painted feathers or something. It's really fancy. I don't remember I had that. No, butterfly's not it. It's not it. Pull out my random... I hardly ever use this stuff, but it's... um. Oh, that's pretty. I can't block the page, and I won't be able to see it. Okay. I've got this piece. I do like that. It's, it's maybe... I like that. Hmm. It's unexpected. A castle? No. This is from my Van Gogh book. Neutral. Why I'm having trouble with this page. That's okay though, it's fun. Oh, look at this little clock thing. Ooh, I like that. I like these two. I don't know why. snag a little bit off that side that would still be a square corner and that would give me room like under there that way yeah yep 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 that's the one oh well, the back is really pretty too Take that out 
Why do you break my heart? <laughs> I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. <laughs> it's just my heart is breaking a little. <laughs> Make sure I have this lined up correctly. Oh, cuckoo clock is adorable. Okay, now I'm much happier with that page. Okay, it's fun. So I'm thinking, so in order to create a cover for this book, so you create, the, you kind of have to do this part before the cover, but uh, if you wanted to, and I'm, I'm not gonna do this, but you could just, create another hinge onto the cover and probably like a fabric. So you take like your, a lace strip. Yes, lace. And so you'd use that as your hinge for the inside cover. And then you just glue this on there. And then this part would be glued onto the cover. So essentially you'd have, it'd be a hinge too. And you can do it with paper. So, you know, take a piece of paper, hinge, and let me choose, let me find that. Let's, let's use this one as an example, because it's narrow. So you, you'd probably want to strip like this. You glue that on, and then glue the cover onto that. You fold it over, and this shows on the inside, and you've got a cover. So now I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do. I have one of these old, it's not that old. It, it's like 15 years old. So, I mean, in terms of craft supplies, it's probably old. But it's a combo laminator and book binder. And what they did was, and I think I have one of them. They had these little books and they, they came with it and they were black. And it was just solid black with like hard canvas and most of them were narrow like this and then in the in the seam was a glue like it was like um this the kind of glue that you would use in a hot glue gun and that glue uh there was like a strip of that hot glue and then you place it into the book binding machine and it heats up the glue sorry I missed a step you got to put all the pages right up against that uh, glue strip. And then you put this in the machine. It heats up the glue and then glues all of the pages right into, into the book binding. So I have one of those machines. So I'm going to do that with this one. I just can't make it too thick because that book has like a one inch max. So that book binding, which is very limiting when you're thinking about junk journals, so. Um, but that's what size book this is gonna be, I guess. <laughs> Cause I've been waiting for a project where I could really use it. And if I can find a way to use it on a regular basis, that would be even better. And I, I'm really loving the hinging thing. It just really speaks to me a lot more than sewing signatures, so. I'm excited to do this. All right, let's decorate some pages. I had three items that I wanted to put together. There was this thing and this girl. I bought a, a deck of cards and she was like attached to it. It was the old used, not even in the case. And this was the only card <laughs> that they had left from that deck of cards. King of Hearts. There you go. And then there was one more thing I wanted to, that I thought went really well with that. It's this scrap. And I think this is a page where I don't worry about covering anything up. Now the question is, do I do something with the background first? Yes, I think so. I think I have to. So 
kind of going with these colors. Let's find some, some ink that would match that. I've got speckled egg. So there's that. That'll go pretty well. Ooh, wait, hold on. I've got this new one, Stampin' Up! Bordering Blue. It's like a gray smoky blue. Okay. And that is like that color right there. Yes. And then, of course, pink. Because you got to have pink. This is called... Oh, puppies. It's called Victorian Velvet. So there you go. Now, and then I also have these lovely... Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, this is nice too. They're all good. They're all little tiny mandalas. And then, okay. But I gotta have daubers. Thank you. That took far too long. Every time I see one, then I see another one. I'm like, no, that one's better. Just stick with one. They're all good, right? And if they're all good, you can't go wrong. So, this is what I do. And hopefully this Swedish thing works out. Not working out. Swedish towel, you fresh, fresh one. Too many colors. That's a problem. Too many colors. Okay. So that way, I just do a little, a little of each in there. is on there. <laughs> okay then. That was like black it turns out. It's not a fresh one. What a day. What a fun day. Wait, no, I had a pink one. Oh my goodness. I just picked up the wrong one too. And I moved my stencil. Oh, this isn't going well at all. Oh, still okay. But you should always go off the page with your stencil. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, blue. I feel like that's not blue. What is happening? Oh, got it on the other page too. How fun is that? <laughs> seem like a disaster, but this is going to look cool. <laughs> I swear. Oh my gosh. So, just remember, you can mess up this much, and it still looks cool. <laughs> That's what I love about junk journaling. <laughs> well, inspiration for you today. <laughs> daubers. It's a good thing distress things are forgiving. This is pink. Pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, pink. This is blue. Blue. Looking good. It's a miracle. Blue. Pink. Check. Pink. My dauber's falling apart.
and I did have some like really tiny mini 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 stamps and I what are the chances that I'll be able to find one in this little thing right away we're gonna try Just go to the my source in the book. Of course, it would take me a while to look through the book, too, I suppose. Well, this one's kind of tiny. That could work. I'll just keep looking. I'm sure. Let's spot another super tiny one. I should have them in a little special place in here so I can find them. And actually, I those super tiny ones, I didn't really cut most of them out because I thought, oh, I don't think I'll use those. But actually, I, I might not have any in there because I have used them quite a few times. And I'm not saying that I did order a Kenmore stamp collection free catalog so that I could get <laughs> actually they give you some free stamps real stamps along with the catalog too to encourage you to buy but I did that I got the free catalog and it's full of pictures of stamps that you can buy okay so which way does this go this way there we go. Like a little tiny postcard. Now how can we postcard it up? I don't think I'm going to use all of this. Uh, I lost my sarsaparilla girl too. We'll find you. We'll find you again. Don't worry. Okay. So, I think maybe I need my brown ink dauber. Throw these back in here. Keep organized. Hmm. I found it. Whew. Try to clean a little as I go. Otherwise, at the end, it's a disaster. Okay. It's pretty, pretty great. I know she's got to be right here. <laughs> I know she does. As long as I didn't do something really silly with her. Oh, I dropped her on the floor. Whew. I found her. I feel like we need a pocket for her, but I don't think I have a pocket her size. Does this fit? Oh, that does fit. Oh my gosh. What should I do to decorate that? I just leave it? I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think I'm capable. I got these little, eh, I think these stickers are a little too, they're not going to work for the style of this book. I want to make it look really vintagey. Problem is I just like pretty things. It doesn't matter. Is that that looks cute goes with everything maybe up here though yeah yep 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 I made these the other day they're like little yeah I used that did I do that on camera I don't know but I had like some Martha Stewart 
um, stamps and I did the mm, stamped with this first and then filled in with the with the um, with this color filled in the the wings that's what I'm trying to say and then I stamped over it with just the border with the hot pink and that looks cute Oh, I got a little visitor, Josie. Josie hardly ever comes to visit me in the craft room. Josie has a barking problem. She likes to bark. I think I need... Is this my... No. This one's it. I think I need a little more coverage right here. Can edit it out. What do you want? Um, rummage around that's going on in Shelton today at the fairgrounds. Ooh. Okay, we're doing that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's staying in. I was gonna edit it out, but everybody loves Robin Jorama. Do I want this to be a pocket? I don't think. I could do like a little pocket off the side just in case. Okay, I'll do it. It'll be like a skinny bookmark. Okay. In that case, I'm going to put this way over here. This is a true secret pocket. You just don't know. Don't even know what's there. And this is going to go right there. Should I ink it? It's already like old paper. So I inked it too much. Too much. Too much. Lightly. Light touch. Light touch. Not quiet. And the people on camera can't hear you talking. What else? Oh my gosh, this was a big week. My husband and I bought a Winnebago, a really old, crusty Winnebago. <laughs> it was like $1,500, so you know it's not in good shape. <laughs> so we we're gonna gut it and just dream about traveling, traveling, the country with our Winnebago that we fixed up. So we're working on that. I need something on this, like a border. I'm going to go get it. <gasps> oh, I could do washi tape maybe. No, maybe. Yes, I've got something right here. Hold on. So this is like tiny butterflies. I could have done a stamp, but I'm going to do washi tape. I just needed, just needed something. But not across the top. No, 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 no. It's a little too... Oh, drop that, drop that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just put it in the wash bin. Running out of places to put things. Okay, so I really like this page so far. And I've got a little bit of lace. 
This lace is so dainty, you can hardly even see it. But you can still. So, cut a little piece of lace. Here we go. See if my Fabra fixes cooperating. Cause it never works anymore. <laughs> There's not much in here. I'll, I'll, granted, that's oh, it is coming out. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Yeah, dauber crumbs on the table. So there, I got a page done. I mean, it's probably not totally done, but it's looking good. I like it. Oh, that's going to go there. There's like nothing on this page for like right. You can write right here. There you go. <laughs> that makes it a journal. You got a little writing space right here. Okay, so. Well, thank you for coming along with me as I putzed along today and told some stories and made this little journal that I have a lot of hope, hope for. A little bookmark. Oh, and look at how I how I placed that. See. Right on the page there. So that worked out. Oh, cards back. That's not back. I guess it doesn't matter. You can make it anywhere. Um, Pioneer. Goodness. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.